Good morning, everyone. I'm thrilled to be joining you here at the Waste Management Symposia. I'm less than two weeks into my new job, but I am here with my hair on fire because we have urgent work to do and we got no time to waste. DOE is on a mission to save our planet and the people who live on it. And the Environmental Management Program, of course, is one of the most important tools in this fight. This is the largest environmental cleanup program in the world. It's responsible for an area I just learned the size of Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Thanks to the work sites at uh, Hanford and Los Alamos and Savannah River, we are helping the families there breathe clean air and drink clean water and raise their children in safe homes. And our work is more than about just restoring the land. It's really about keeping our promises to the American people. It's our responsibility to lift this burden from communities that have shouldered the burden of our safety and to help them achieve uh, a more vibrant and sustainable future. So whether you're one of our federal contractors, whether you're one of our federal employees, whether you're a student or one of our international partners, you have a critical role to play in this mission. Over the next few years, we're going to take our cleanup work to the next level. So the rest of our EM team has told you about what's in store, but the great news is some of these projects are so close to being done. And of course, that's all thanks to the people behind this mission. This industry is made up of some of our nation's best engineers and scientists and project management professionals, and it's powered by the workers who are on the ground, including some of the very best of our trade unions. And we all do it in partnership with one another and with our contractors in the field. So my message to the students and the young professionals who are here to explore this career path is that it is a wonderful opportunity for you to make a good living while making a difference. But we still have work to do if we're going to be candid to make this look like America. We know that diversity is what makes the workforce and this country so strong. And at DOE, we're looking at how to build a diverse pipeline of, of both talent within our agency and from coast to coast. So to all the contractors who are participating today and to ourselves, we can all do better. You can, we can. And I hope we do, because when we put inclusion at the center of our work, we can deliver the best results for all Americans. We also need to keep building strong relationships in that inclusive in that inclusive phase with the states, the tribes, the stakeholders and communities around our project sites. Make sure that we're listening to them every step of the way. So local residents may or may not have had some idea of what was going on in their backyard during the early years at our sites, but they certainly weren't at the decision making table. Our environmental management program has made incredible progress in these efforts at inclusion over its history. And today there are advisory boards at eight of our cleanup sites which help DOE make the best decisions for, um, for Americans and for the environment. These and other outreach and inclusive efforts have led to safer and faster cleanup and, and a stronger relationship with the local communities and the tribal nations. So now we're gonna go even further to make sure that the benefits of these investments reach those who have been hit the hardest by the damage. We're gonna take this collaborative and inclusive approach to all of DOE's missions. We're gonna learn from you, including the work that we do with our international partners. I'm actually thrilled that we're joined by representatives from, from Canada and Japan and the United Kingdom this week, who have really been some of our strongest global allies when it comes to tackling our cleanup missions. As America reclaims its spot as a leader in the global fight against climate change, I cannot wait to work with them on making this a safer planet for all of our children. Our priorities are really ambitious and the challenges are real, but we are all on this mission together. So let's make it happen. Thank you so much and have a great conference.